Lots of people ask if you can and should stain pressure treated wood. And the answer is pretty simple. If you want to keep your pressure treated project looking its best, then you can and should stain. That's because the chemicals in pressure treated wood protect against insects and decay, and that means your project will last even outdoors. But they don't protect against elements like sun, wind, moisture, and dirt. And because of those, in not very long, maybe a year or two, your pressure treated wood will go from looking like this to this. The color turns gray and lifeless, it gets dirty, and the surface may even develop some cracks. Staining will slow all of these things down, plus it will make your project look great. What stain you choose depends on the look that you want. If you want to give your pressure treated wood some protection, but not change the color, then you should choose something that's not actually a stain, but a wood sealer. A sealer goes on kind of milky, but it dries clear. So you'll get the same protection as a stain, but all you'll see is the natural color of the wood. If you want to add a bit of color to your pressure treated wood, but still really see the grain show through, then choose a transparent stain. Transparent doesn't actually mean clear, it just means that it has the fewest pigments, so when it goes on, it soaks in and adds color, but lets the natural grain show through. If you'd like the color to have a bit more pop, then go with the next step, which is a semi-transparent stain. It's thicker than transparent stain because it has more pigments. That way, it will add a bit more color, but still let some of the grain show through. What if you want to give your treated wood project a solid color? A lot of people ask about painting, but paint's not a great choice for treated wood because it's harder to apply, maintain, and reapply in the future. A much better choice is a solid color stain. Solid color stain gives a nice bold color and covers the grain almost completely, so it looks a lot like paint. But because it's stain, it soaks in and offers much better protection and you can get it mixed in almost any color you'd like. And speaking of color, here's a tip for staining your projects. If you're not sure how dark or bold to go, start with a lighter color. With an outdoor project, you'll have to reapply the stain every couple years anyway, and if you start light, you can always go to a darker color. But if you start with a dark color, it's hard to ever go back to a lighter stain. Whatever kind of stain you plan to apply to pressure treated wood, you need to make sure that the wood is ready. Pressure treated is usually pretty wet when you buy it, and that can prevent it from absorbing stain. But there's an easy way to test. Just pour a little bit of water onto the bare wood. If the water beads up and doesn't soak in, then you know that the wood is too wet to absorb stain. But if the water starts to soak in pretty easily, then the wood is dry enough to absorb stain and you're good to go. So you can see that there are some great choices for staining pressure treated wood. It's easy to do and stain allows you to give your pressure treated wood the look that you want and make it last for a long time.